Welcome to Skilo's Badlands. This place actually refers to a real life place in North America. The Skilo's Badlands, I believe. Yeah. Anyway, this level basically revolves around you having to pick up lava rocks and hit those, uh, those bat-like things. And this right here is a, a bone builder. <laughs> What's funny is you can roast these guys, and when they're not on fire, they'll... Oh, wait, no, wait, no, that's only... It's kind of weird. After you save these guys, they'll be like, I love you, I love you, I love you. They're like, wait, who are you again? But if, you, if they're saying, I love you, I love you, I love you, and you torch them, they'll stop, they'll go around, do that, stop, and say, oh, I love you, I love you, I love you, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's very funny. And Skills Badlands is a very interesting level. In fact, there's another level like this, in which you'll find, uh, you'll find, like, other creatures that are similar to the Bone Builders. And, ironically, I actually did that level in, look, that le I did the level in which you, mm, I did the level in which I'm talking about, before I did this one. I'm constantly doing it. And those firehead guys, they can be either a a a <laughs> wait dang. Call A A A Sean King I don't know. Uh, those fire guys can constantly uh, kill enemies or lizards that give you butterflies. This is lumpy. I don't know, I bet she's being overrun by lava lizards. Blah blah blah. Help us. This is the most annoying level. Uh, not level. I mean, this is the most annoying or challenge you'll face up to date, I believe. Uh, trying to think. Yeah, uh, basically, you have to stop these lava lizards from devouring the bone builders. The first one, it's easy as pie. Now I want pie. What? Who do you think you are? Uh, some kind of dojo master? You're not master... Um, uh, you're not... Oh, can I just say you're not Chuck Norris? You're not him. You cannot call me Grasshopper. Only Chuck Norris can call me Grasshopper. And now we're about to do this again. Oh no! I mean, uh-oh, it looks like more lava lizards are coming. Please, Silver Village again. As you saw, the difficulty is five. I may end up doing this one too twice. I have to do this one twice. I really do not like this. And if you talk to that guy again, he'll say, "Please save our town, our village from lava lizards." And I was like, "See, like these lava lizards are a bit more spread out than before, so it's kind of hard trying to figure out where they are." And the last two are the ones I would always see. It's always going to be the last two. And I could show you the animation of the lava lizards um, swallowing uh, eating one of these guys because after that they didn't like, burp out a bone. Uh, oh crap! See, because in your haste you may oh no 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 you may accidentally fall off. Oh wow! Thank you for helping. To the end, Oh wow! As I said, I may have to do this one twice, and I did. But wow, I'm pretty sure some of you had a close call. Well, I just cannot get a break. Uh, anyway, there's something I forgot to do. I forgot to talk to the guy at the beginning of this level because actually he has something interesting to say. And I have over 900 gems! And I think I forgot something about here. Oh, no, no, I didn't. You, can, you don't have to talk to these guys in front, but it's kind of fun to talk to Gronk. Hey, Dragon, I hear you're pretty tough. I bet my cousin Glove, you wouldn't be able to make it past the bad dance about getting singed. Uh, basically, you don't really do not have to get through this thing about taking damage. You just gotta get to the end, just like any other level. Uh, before we go, I actually have to do something. I have to take this lava rock. I have to take aim and hit that um, lava toad. 
Yes, that is called a lava toad. Trust me. Not only do these guys give you spirit particles when you kill them, but they're of another importance that you'll see a bit later. Right now, we collect that bone, you see one of eight. Basically, there are eight bones you have to collect. Also, be sure to use cacti or cactuses or whatever. I, I don't get somehow the singular and plural stuff. Anyway, if you shoot that guy with a lava uh, rock, he'll take out the lizard and the lava toad. And so, basically, freebie and treasure, more treasure. And here is an instance of a new power-up that we cannot activate yet. Hey, Love Lizard. Rock! <laughs> Annoying orange. If you go through a power-up and you can't use, and you don't have enough spirit particles to use it, it will tell you how many spirit particles you have. So, like saying, you don't have enough and... This thing is very annoying to destroy because you have to like, hit three times for the lava rocket. Easy, but repetitiveness, stupid. <sighs> Alright, now this guy. I really hate this level because I constantly find ways to get hit. Now, you gotta be free. Now, this is kind of an interesting thing. Hit this guy with the lava rocket. He'll fall back, his head will explode, and he'll burn that thing. But as you saw, his animation was in the form he takes when he's uh, uh, being burned by fire, but he doesn't actually burn. Thank you. And look, this is the shield power up. This power up makes you invincible to just about anything. Nothing can hurt you. It doesn't last a very long time in this level. We will run into it again and it'll last a lot longer. But for purposes here, it does not last long. See? That was easy. Now, whenever you get this, you turn red. And why is it thinking, that makes you immune to water, to lava, or fire? It makes you immune to everything. You just do not use it in certain, there's a certain areas in which you do not use it in. Now you do that, boom. See, the, lob, the shield is used to get into two areas you cannot normally get into. Because they're guarded by dangerous lava that would burn and kill you. Now, oh, I see we have five of these bones. You're probably wondering why we're collecting bones, and look. We're at a thousand again. Maybe now we can break the real meme. <sighs> you all know what meme I'm what meme I'm talking about. You all do. Well, let's talk to this guy. This is Uga. He's saying the lava toads, as I told you they were called, stole his friend's bones. Now we have to collect them again and put his friend back together. Now see that there? That is the most annoying base you will ever find in the Spiral series. And you'll see why later. Right now we got ourselves some more lava toads to kill. And this guy, he'll go back and forth. And then you gotta like, just hit him when he's staying still. Take, you don't really have to take aim. You gotta like, wait for him to not use script fire or script faster than him. Basically, you just gotta be a sharp shooter. And I'm missing a lava tin? Is that possible? I, I, can't lava I, got, I got all the lava toads. I can't be. Okay, maybe I just missed a bone? Uh. I got the first bone, I got the second, the third. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, you gotta make sure you hear that noise. That that ring noise in order to know you definitely did it right. Nope. And you guys saw me collect the bone from that guy as I was falling. 
But, um, I, I don't get it. Either I'm missing a lava toad or I missed a bone somewhere. I, I don't get it. Anyway, if you come up here, you'll see there are four cat things. You see these four things, and there's a rocket that's used to destroy a safety cell earlier. I think that's the last cactus. Yep. Destroy all the cacti, and you will get a free life. Now, as you see, these guys will constantly fly out of range, which means you cannot get close to them to kill them. You have to hit them with a lava rock. And since there's four of them firing at you, it's not really that easy to do. Yeah, you can do it, and... Did one of them take the other out of a fireball? Or did I just miss them? I would not be surprised if I missed something. I mean, I'm already missing a bone for some reason. Like, I... I don't get it. Where's the bone? Yeah. Alright, I'm just getting lives today. I think mean, seriously, I know, this is the, I believe, the only level in which you can have two skill points to get a life, to get lives. There's another area that has to, you collect two skill points at the same time, but it's not a level, it's more of a, uh, something different. Okay, the bone's not there, did I, did I forget to get it up here? I don't get it. Oh, I did! Wow. Now I put my friend back together again. I'm going to sit quiet for a bit. After I get this orb. Oh, it's 24! Orbs! Ew! Now <laughs> oh man! If you talk to Uka again, he, uh, his skeletal friend will dance for you again. Now you're probably wondering, hey, why aren't you going to complete the level? I'm going to complete it after I get the vase. As you just saw, the vase moved. This is a mystery vase. You will have to hunt it down. It will once you hit it. It will change its location. Hit it again, its location will change once again. This will keep going on until you hit, until you hit it all the times. This base only appears in, I think, three levels of Spyro 2. But in Spyro 3, I think it makes more appearances. Uh... Uh, okay, here's what steel spasm, city oasis, and... Okay, that's all the gems. We have all the orbs and all the gems. Now we just need a talisman. Uh... Yep, it uh, only appears in three places, so that's kind of... Pointless to like, really have something like this. It only appears in three areas. And here is Glug. And you know what's kind of interesting? These guys, their staffs and their figurines, and just about everyone here will get reused in another level that I did first. Helo's Badlands is complete. If you talk to him again, if you don't know what to do with the talisman, maybe you can make a nice soup of it. Yeah, I want to make a soup with a talisman. Yeah. And with that, that's complete skills Badlands. I will see you guys at another level. Master Quest Controller, signing out.